Hey everybody, this is Don over at Johnny's Used Cars. Voted the best place to buy a car in Okinawa by the military community of Okinawa for the second consecutive year. That's right, we won last year in 2023 and repeated this year for 2024. Stop by, we'll show you why, like we have many, many others. Today I'm showing this 2011 Suzuki Solio. It's got 94,000 kilometers on it, which is about 58,000 miles. Before I get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on a lot discounts. So the price you're seeing on the website right now will not be the final price when you come on a lot. Also, if you're arriving to Okinawa soon or you just arrived, please make sure you stop by Johnny's Used Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you get your sofa driver's licenses, there are benefits of doing it that way. So with that, let's have a look around. I'll show you the features inside. But first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos. going to answer a lot of your questions. Things like the uh, JCI, the warranty, the financing. I cover all that and more. So please bear with me till the end. You have all the answers. If not, please contact me or stop on by. The Suzuki Solio is a five passenger vehicle in the 500 series category, so the mid size category. Road tax per year is going to be 19, I'm sorry, 7,500 yen, which is about $50 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May timeframe. So we're going to take care of the 2024 road tax for you. You won't have to worry about this till next April or May. Now, I do have two ways to pay for this. First one being US dollars cash outright, which could get you a larger discount, or take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put something down, reduce our overall monthly payment, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000. Some do half, some do more. Up to you. Before I go inside, I was like showing the rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit this way. If it rains, it's not going to get wet inside. More important feature benefit is it's going to give you a cross ventilation, get that extremely hot air out. And always get yourself a good windshield visor. You got to keep that dash as cool as possible. So in addition to the uh, sun visor, you may want to consider buying a dash cover for it. Or if you want to go a cheaper route, then go or a cheaper, easier route, just get a large size bath towel or beach towel, lighter in color, and put that over the dash. Anything that helps keep that dash cooler is going to help cool down the car a lot quicker. So with that, let's jump on inside. Let's get this baby started. All right. Key fob on your person, foot on the brake. It is a push start. You're going to push that one time, and it goes. All right. Let's sneak this in here. 94,334 on the odometer. I'll show you a couple of warning lights. That one right there, that is your temperature gauge. So it's going to be light green when the engine's cool, and it's going to remain on. That's normal. It's going to go away when the engine warms up. That's normal. And then it's going to be red if it's overheating. That's not normal. Be on the lookout for that. Then you got two over here. The one on the left is obviously your seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do give tickets on and off base. The one to the right of that, uh, the circle one, is your emergency brake. This one is a kick type. So when you kick it, disengage, it goes away. Kick it again, comes right back on. Other than that, it's a very simple, straightforward, straight ahead instrument cluster. Anything pops up on a dash while you're driving, please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action, especially if it's red, please pull over. All right? Off the left here on top of the dash, you do have a vent here that's going to help bring more uh, air to the back. You have your radio. Let's see, you turn it on. Oh, this doesn't even look like it's connected. So we'll have to uh, either get that uh, hooked up or ch change it out. And then you have your shifter, air conditioning controls, power outlet. Uh, a little tray here for whatever you need it for and a cup holder please do not pull it remember my finger you're gonna push it and it's and it comes out remember the finger uh, the good finger I guess you don't want to pull it because a lot of people will pull it and they rip this cover off okay and then you have a little compartment underneath for storage above the glove box you have a little bit of storage then a little shelf here and then the glove box itself and a little bit of storage and cup holder on each door panel okay that is your passenger space over there you got your red row flare hanging out over there. And then this is the space I have on my side. The seat is all the way back, all the way down. I am 5'11", as everybody loves knowing. I'm pretty comfortable right where I am. Or I could, I could, I could slide it up an inch too, but I don't think that would be necessary. And it does have a uh, an armrest here. And also a compartment for your sunglasses. Let's go eye level. That's my eye level right there. Really can't see anything past the windshield wipers like on most vehicles. All the way back. Now I'd like to take this time to show you the auction sheet. Showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind. Graded non-accident from the auctions up in mainland. Well, these other dealers out here can't tell you that on all their cars. We can for each one. And some dealers will try to discredit this auction sheet. Stop by, we'll explain why. It was graded 4 from the auction with a C and B on the exterior interior. So it's a pretty good grade for this. That's going to be up here on the sun visor on the driver's side. So you can see that for yourself. And we'll also help you decipher it if need be. So I'll show you a couple other things before we go to the back uh, seat. Now this one does have a compartment here. You lift on this tab. Uh, it just has a little um, 
a compartment for storage. So if you uh, want to hide your personal effects going to the uh, store or to the beach, you can do that. Just when you put this down, you want to go ahead and tuck that under so uh, people don't see that you have that. What is this over here? You have a, a grocery bag hook over here for three with uh, three kilograms. That's about six and a half pounds. And then you do have an option of uh, high, uh, uh, adjusting the steering wheel. That's right. You're going to push this thing up and that'll lock it into place. And then you do have a, a, a cup holder over here. Open the door so you can see a little better. And then you have fog light control. Uh, you put your fire lights on. Uh, this one's going to control the angle of your headlights. So maybe it's a foggy morning, you want to see the street a little better, that's where you're going to do it. And then it does have a power sliding door on the passenger side only. You are able to turn it off uh, with this button right here or turn it on. Okay. And then underneath that, you have uh, just a coin uh, slot. And then all the way down here, you have your hood release. And then on the floor here, please don't forget, you have your gas cover release right here. On the door panel, you have your uh, mirror, window, and door lock controls all right here. To turn it off, your foot does not have to be on the brake. You're just going to push this one time, and it turns off. All right. So look at all the space. That's why it's not necessary to slide that uh, front seat up. All right. So... You do have an option of sliding these things up, so I'm going to slide this all the way up just to show you. So with this slid up all the way, I'm about an, almost an inch away from the back seat to my knees. With it all the way back, I'm about six inches away, okay? But nothing as far as storage in the back of the driver's seat, but you got pocket storage on the back of the passenger seat. As always, be careful what you put in there. You don't want to rip it on each side. And then nothing as far as storage on the door panels, but you do have a cup holder all the way back here, okay? And then, yeah, that's it. Hey, let me slide this one forward. I want to show you guys something. All right. Come back here. So here's your rear space. I'm going to put these down. I just don't like when they're all the way up. Sorry. So here's your rear space. So if you want to uh, put those things forward, you could. But the bigger thing, when they're slid all the way forward and you want to put them down, that's going to take up that space right there. So if you put this one down, there's going to be uh, uh, that much space over there okay but just a huge amount of space in these these things go out frequently very very popular cars let's go to the front here we're going to show you the engine compartment we're going to wrap this video up if i can find it where is it and there you have it so 1.2 liter engine nice and clean and just one of these quirks over here these normally get condensation in them it's one of the quirks with these solios all right, there you have it, 2011 Suzuki Solio, 94,000 kilometers on it, which again, about 58,000 miles. Military prices are at 5,400. With an additional military discount, we'll get it down to 5,200. Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy about on-the-lot discounts, and you will get a lower price on this. For now, the 5,200 will include a two-year JCI, the one-year bumper-to-bumper full warranty, the 2024 road tax, and the 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing on top will be your American insurance requirement. Whether you go liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Touching on these warranties real quick, yes, there are two-year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced bread, so don't be fooled by them. Stop by, we'll explain why. But we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealer, see what they have, check out the condition, mileage, and pricing of their vehicles, then stop by Johnny's Used Cars, let us show we have, what our program's all about, and how we're going to assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. One of the many reasons why we did win the Stars and Stripes, Best Pacific Magazines, Best Place to Buy a Car, and Okinawa Award for the second consecutive year. Again, stop by, we'll show you why. Don't forget two ways to pay for it, U.S. dollars cash outright, or take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months. Either way, we're good to go. Please like and subscribe, and as always, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.